It's a beautiful day. Look at this. I got short sleeve shirt on. It's probably 50 some degrees out here, but it won't be like this for long. It's supposed to drop back down into the low 20s tonight. We're supposed to get three to five inches of snow tomorrow. So while we have the time, we are getting some of the greenhouse done. So I'm gonna show you how we're putting together the arches and the trusses on the arches. And so let's take advantage of this beautiful weather and let's get started. So what we're doing here is we have a T-post right here and T-post right here. So these T-posts are 30 feet apart. And so that gives us, once we set the bottom of this arch over here and the bottom of this arch over here inside these T-posts, that gives us the correct distance we're gonna need for when we set them on the um, posts that are already in the ground over here. So we're making sure that as we're putting our W trusses on, which I'll show you what that is here in a second, uh, that we're doing it to the right length and we're not gonna have to squeeze our arches in or do any of that crazy stuff. So this is our template that we've been using for uh, this whole time. So yesterday, we were also taking advantage of the weather because it was about 50 degrees yesterday and we got Let's see, one, two, three, four, five arches done. And all we have left to do today is four. So we're gonna be finished with this today. So we did run into one issue and that is, let's see if I can show you here. So these, here's one right here. So this right here is bent in just a hair. So this is the top of the arch see one over there this is the top of this one and it's just a little bit bent in right here and so we're gonna have to heat this metal up some and bend these we have two of these that are messed up so we're gonna bend those out and make it use make them usable again so let's get started since we didn't use them every day we got red on <laughs> so <laughs> pops is complaining about me selling our oxyacetylene tanks we had some nice oxyacetylene tanks that I got at a uh, estate sale and I sold them, you know? I'm leaving one detail out of that though. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So the first thing we do is pops is down there on that end. I get down here on this end and We make sure the whole arch assembly is put together first, everything's snugged up in there. And then I take this in and move it inside the T-post, like that. So now both ends are secured on each side. So now that gives us the consistent grid format that we were, we're using to assemble these. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get these top arch tech screwed in, and then we'll go ahead and start our braces. So the first thing we do is take our self-tapping screws and use the impact drill and then tack. We tack one here, one on the underside. So you got one on top and one on the underside and we do this on this half, this side, and then the other side over here. So the next thing we do is we got everything laid out and kind of like where we're assembling it. So the bottom of the truss is two pieces, runs on the bottom, and then the support parts of the truss where it's the W is formed. Uh, you got a long, long post and then a short post and then the same on the other side. So we just assemble it like it's gonna be laid out, just so we have everything ready to um, be put together. And then 
these yeah these brackets that are around the big post here is what's holding all of the w truss together so you got one two three four five six on each uh, arch and we lay those kind of in the general area that they need to be where, where they're gonna where they're gonna sit so what we're gonna do next is we're going to measure out we start our measurement from this uh, where is it we start a measurement from this um, joint right here where the arch is joined together and we measure 24 inches up the joint and then 48 inches down the joint and then 129 inches down the joint and that tells us where to put our braces uh, so that everything is consistent every single time we do it so we have everything laid out so we'll go ahead and put the w truss together and this one is done so let me walk you through what we did so we have the bottom truss bar and then the poles for the W and we connected it all with these uh, brace bands so each brace band has a obviously a a bolt that goes through it to secure the post to the other post and then each brace band itself has a tech screw going through the center of it and that is just to hold this brace band in place it's tightened down from the wind and things like that it won't move around because we have a tech screw there and every single one this is a smaller brace band for the bottom of the V's for the W uh, has a tech screw so every single one has a tech screw connected up top this has a tech screw connecting the center and so now that we're done securing this whole side so now the next step we'll flip it over and we will tech screw three more areas one of those being we'll get the underside here the underside here and the underside here and once that's done then the whole arch is complete so that would that's what we've been doing for every other arch and after this one we only have three more so looks like we'll get done today all right as you can see behind me we finished whoa we're taking advantage of the beautiful weather Isaiah's out here riding his bike, getting it done. Actually, that's not your bike, dude. <laughs> riding Sissy's, Sissy's bike. bike. Sissy and Story were out here earlier riding their bikes, but as you can see behind me, we are done. We got most of the arches over here behind me. The rest are over here, and they are done, good to go. So, next what we're gonna do, another day, I just found out they're actually calling for five to eight inches of snow tomorrow. So unfortunately, all of this beautiful weather is gonna be gone and the snow is gonna be back. The ground's gonna be frozen again and we'll have to deal with the mud again. But hey, that's just how it is out here in the Midwest and we gotta deal with it. So instead of complaining, we're gonna embrace it. And so we got these arches over here. These are the end wall arches. Notice they have no trusses on them, no W trusses. And then these are the other two arches that were, uh, that we had done uh, earlier. So that combines all of the arches. We are done with that project. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get about four or five guys over here and we're gonna raise these arches 
onto these posts behind me. I'll take y'all along for that video when it comes. Um, Isaiah, don't get too muddy. Actually, stay, stay back over here. Can I get on the hay? Yeah, you can get on the hay. So, anyway, we got all that done. We have the uh, arches ready to be raised. So, I'm thinking the rest of February is supposed to be pretty cold. So, I'm thinking maybe one cold day we'll get out here when, it, when the ground is either frozen or at least not muddy at all and we will raise these arches up and we'll get the purlin, the, the big long pole that runs down the middle of the entire arches. We'll get that up and that will be the next video you see about the greenhouse. Um, so today we're gonna get the rest of the yard cleaned up before the snow comes and we're gonna enjoy the weather while it lasts. It's already starting to get cold. Um, so we're gonna hunker down and prepare for the storm and hopefully it won't be too so one last little quick update on the garden over here um, exciting we're actually going to be uh, preparing to purchase our seeds here in the next couple days we're going to start getting our uh, seeds together the the seeds that we have already we're going to look at what we got and get anything we still need um, so that we'll be ready to start our seeds indoor we're going to do like we did last year where we start our seeds in the basement. And I will take y'all along for that and show you the video, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and purchase all of our seeds, get ready for our early spring crop and get those started in the basement. So uh, we should be doing that within the next, within the next week probably. And um, so I'll show y'all that when we get started. So that's it guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. We got some cool stuff coming up in the next couple months here with the greenhouse and getting ready for our spring planting and all of that good stuff. So hopefully you stay along for the journey. Remember, if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or want to leave some encouragement or anything you want to say to us, just pop it in the comment section below and we will be sure to respond to you as soon as we can. Thanks again for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.